You know what? I'm not going to be happy with this first podcast, no matter what I do. I've looked at it a million times, and I'm tired of it. But just to give you an idea, it's got a few roadmaps on there about the trip I'd like to do. Um, it doesn't do a very good job of explaining what it really means to me, but uh, we can take care of that later because I'm coming out with podcast number three shortly. I know this is out of sequence. It seems weird, but that's the way it is. All right, here we go. So this is it here. Um, this is where I'll be putting in the canoe, middle of May 2017. The water will be a lot higher then. It's the middle of April right now, so we got another month before spring runoff starts. Um, and yeah, this will be day one. I'm going to solo from here to Calgary and then I'll be picking up the kids there. Uh, simply because there's a lot of sort of objective hazards in between here and there and a few places with some white water and things like that. And my intention isn't to expose them to risk, it's to sort of educate them to life in the outdoors and sort of rediscover their heritage, their cultural heritage. So the trip is the lower fur trade, is what I call it anyhow, and uh, it will go from the Bow into the Capel River which becomes the Assiniboine eventually, and then joins the Red, goes north into Winnipeg, and then across a little further east and onto the Winnipeg River, and then eventually the Kenora and Boundary Waters, uh, and then Portage into Superior, and that's probably where they'll leave, and I'll carry on from there. They may rejoin at Sault Ste. Marie further down, but I feel the uh, northern Superior country is just a little too dangerous to be taking children.